Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the alternative Why Not Win 11 as an alternative for the PC Health Check that Microsoft is using for Windows 11 support. So if your computer hardware supports Windows 11, they did have this tool out for a little while that would let you actually see if your system supports Ordered the Windows 11 update. Unfortunately, there were a lot of false negatives with that application, and Microsoft pulled it about a month ago, and it still has not been re-released yet. It may be released down the road, which I imagine it will, but in the meantime, there is a free alternative that does take into account new and changing rules as to what is and what is not eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11 once it is released. So I will have that in the description of the video here, guys. Again, the utility is called Why Not Win 11, and I will have their GitHub page in the description of the video, guys. So just go ahead and copy that from the description of my video, and then paste it into the top URL. Now you can see what the user interface will look like here, and it'll tell you what it will scan for, as well as the compatibility results. Select where it says download latest stable release. Go ahead and open that up. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up to run it. So if for some reason Windows Security or Google Chrome picks it up as it not being safe, that can be disregarded because it is a safe file. It's just that it just does not have any signatures for it. So it's unable to be recognized by Windows. That's why it's not letting us go ahead and install it. So you may need to open up security here and actually allow it. And we're going to go underneath Protection History. And then I'm going to actually enable the option here. So Action, I'm going to allow it. And then I'm going to select Yes. I tried running it twice here, so I'm allowing both of them. And now I'm going to go ahead and actually try and download it once again. And we're going to run anyway. Again, like I said, this is a safe file here, guys. There's not too much to it. It's just that it isn't being recognized by Windows. That's why it's blocking this file. But like it promises, you can see everything is shown here as to what it is looking for. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. And do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.